Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over my March budget. It is March 5th so I am a couple of days into the month already and that is perfectly fine. We have not been spending like crazy. We've been actually very responsible with our spending lately. Really proud of ourselves. Pat in the back. If you are new here, my name is Fatima. I am a millennial who lives in the beautiful desert of Las Vegas, Nevada with my husband and my four kitty cats. And today we're going to budget together. So come on and budget with me. Before we get started on the full budget, I do wanna go over a couple of the transactions that we have already completed for the month of March. I just feel it's best to be honest with you guys. Nothing crazy. Like I said, we haven't been spending like crazy. We've been very responsible going into March especially with all the crazy spending that we did in February. Of course, we have my corporate income. That's one of the first things that I like to add. I just like to make sure, even though all the numbers are always gonna be the same, because I do get paid on a salary basis. I make about 97,000 a year with my corporate income, hoping to make more by the end of this year. I do get paid every 15th and every end of the month but the end of the month i like to count it as my first and the 15th i like to count it as the 16th it just works out a lot better with my bills and the way that i have everything structured so here I have my corporate income and i do go based off of my gross income so corporate income is actually the gross income, not the net. And another thing I forgot to mention in my last video that another expense that I had in February was actually a crypto investment. So I did invest $100 in crypto. And then I have, of course, my taxes. I have my uh, 401k information. I did reduce my 401k compared to how much I was investing a while back ago. It's just been a little bit easier to manage. I still have a good amount that I'm investing. I'm going to say I'm at 8%, 8% investment. And then of course we do get an employer match. We get a safe harbor. So I get 3% back of my full salary. Okay, as I mentioned, we have taxes. So I do have my federal, Medicare, social security, then of course my healthcare. So medical, dental, vision. Now this is where we get into the expenses already. These are bills. So I do have already two bills that have come out, which is our Amazon Prime internet. And then we're getting to our expenses. So we did go to in and out after we went snowboarding this weekend. And then we picked up some groceries recently because we were running really low. And <laughs> Dylan decided he wanted to buy a marshmallow. So that fun expense is a marshmallow. Is it marshmallow or squishmallow? It wasn't even a, a squishmallow. It was some off-brand Squishmallow, but it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I'll put a video right here. It's like a little Maruchan Squishmallow. Super cute. And then I got a cash out from Venmo. I will stop using my Venmo credit card because it's been really upsetting me. It's basically a type of credit card where you have control over what rewards you get. So for example, it goes from three to one and whatever you're spending the most, you're going to be getting that 3%. And then whatever you're in the middle of, you're gonna get the 2%. And then of course the lease is gonna be 1%. And <laughs> I was making sure that I was only using my Venmo card for groceries and it was working out decently fine until I made one beauty purchase and the 3% switched from groceries to beauty with that one purchase. I called Venmo and the representative was also really confused. They asked me if I wanted to submit some sort of claim and I told them, you know what, this isn't the first time this has happened so forget it. I'm just not going to use the Venmo credit card. I'm done. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. No longer use it because it, it's just been a pain in the butt and it's not worth it. So I do not recommend the Venmo credit card. Anyways, sorry I got on that tangent right there, but moving forward. I'm excited for March because it's an opportunity for us to start all over. As I mentioned earlier in the video, February was a crazy month, very expensive month. There was a lot that happened in February. I swear there was something to do every single weekend and it was just intense. I'm actually still very tired from February. But with an eventful month comes an expensive month. March is our opportunity to get back on track with our savings, get back our, on track with our investments, and our low spend year. I did a sinking funds reset not too long ago. I reset $4,800. However, I didn't realize that I had about an additional 
$600 that I had saved in a separate account and I am thinking about rolling over that amount to this monthly budget but I'm also considering on adding it to my savings. Let's first start off with the budget and then we'll we'll figure it out. Let's now get into my budget. Credit card balance, I don't ever hold a balance. I pay everything off as soon as possible. As soon as I get my paychecks, I like to pay everything off. Just wanna make sure that I never get charged interest. Left to budget, of course it's at zero. So let's start filling in our income. So for corp income, it's always gonna be the same. So 4023, this is what I did get paid recently. So keep in mind guys, I'm doing this on March 5th. So we are a couple of days in already. I already did get paid. So that's why you are seeing a number on actual. So let me just double that up. 8046 is my expected corp income. Uh, YouTube income, we have zero. Business income, I got some unexpected business income last month and I actually do not expect anything this month. We'll see. We'll see if anything comes in. I, I was actually really surprised that I got some of my side hustles going last month, which is great. Online selling. It is so hard to sell on Facebook Marketplace. So incredibly hard. I need to go back to other apps. So I'm gonna try OfferUp because I have so many things that I wanna get rid of and I wanna sell and some of them are new. All right, cash outs. I'm not expecting anything, but I did already get $8.42. Refunds, none at the moment. Gift cards, none. 401k Roth employer match. I am expecting double that. Double 120.69, that is going to be 241.38. And then double HSA match, that is going to be 345.82. Interest earned, I'm gonna put zero. I should probably do a better job at keeping track of my interest. All right, so that is my income, that is what we are working with. And we see up here on my left to budget, we have $8,633 with two cents. For pre-tax deductions, we already have that first paycheck, medical, dental, and vision that is already being applied to the budget and amounts. So we're going to double those amounts to the actual budget. And apologies, I think I said to the budgeted amount, I meant to say to the spreadsheet. We are adding the budgeted amounts right now. So we should see a difference of half of what I'm putting right now. 12.78, perfect. So I wanna make sure that I'm in the green because I've only gotten my first paycheck this month. Now for taxes, we're going to do the same thing. We already have amounts on the spreadsheet that have been removed for the first paycheck of March. We are gonna put the full budget amounts now. And so we're just doubling that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I am working with my gross income. I like to work with my gross income because I do like to see what is coming out of my paycheck in regards to taxes. I like to break my heart a little bit, yeah. That's, that's what it is. Okay, perfect, so our difference is in the green and it's half of the amounts of what the actual is. Now, let's go into my investments. So investments, we're gonna double the actual amount for my 401k Roth, my health savings account, my employer match, and my safe harbor, which is my 401k Roth employer match. At one point, I was uh, contributing a lot of money to my 401k, but I started to realize that I had very little in my paycheck at the end of the month, so I, ha I had to stop doing that. And I feel pretty good about where we're at with our retirement thus far. Of course, I want to increase it as much as I possibly can, maybe down the line. This hobby will eventually become, I wouldn't say, that I, I don't know if it could become a full-time job, I'm not sure. I, I think that would take a couple of years for me to be, be able to even make YouTube a full-time job. I definitely had an opportunity back in like 2017 2018 and I missed my chance, but it's okay. There was a lot happening during that time. Sometimes the timing is just not right. And I do hope to maybe one day be able to make my corporate income just my full 401k contribution. I, I hope to be able to contrib contribute the entire paycheck if possible, or at least close to $2,000 every month. That would be awesome. So I could 
max out the entire 401k. All right, perfect. So as we can see right here, the difference should be half of the budgeted amount, which it is. Bills, bills, bills. So much fun to pay bills. So we, ooh, I just realized I, I did already pay my rent. I need to go back into my transactions and let's add my rent in here to that really quick. Okay, that is done. Rent and apartment parking has been added. So the rent for March is 2115 and apartment parking is 150. So these are fixed expenses. They don't ever change. Let's go back to the budget and I'm gonna go ahead and still add my budget and amounts. I'm gonna go ahead and copy them from February just because it makes it a little bit easier on me. And we'll still go over it right now. Rent is $21.15, water, sewer, and common rooms. Last month it was $88, so I'm gonna leave it as the same, $88. Our parking already paid for $150. Electricity, I have not paid for that, so I'm gonna remove that, but last month it was $155. I believe it's going to be a lot cheaper than that this month. Let's check. I know it's gonna be $125. 0.38 so it's definitely gonna be a good amount of money lower $30 that's pretty good cell phone 151 I will leave it at that it's 150 and some change but I always like to leave it at 151 internet 115 it's usually 115 and 16 cents oh there we go yeah so we're gonna do that I can see it right here on actual an internet has already been paid for actually that comes out every first or third depending on what the date falls under and then life insurance um always the same car insurance nothing but i do already have the funds for uh the next six months which that is due may and i'll be paying it in full amazon prime 14.99 and that already did come out netflix 24.59 that has yet to come out in a couple of days if you see these colors right here i have it in red like a lightish red that's because these are the bills that are due at the beginning of the month and then these are the bills that are due at the middle of the month towards the end so now let's go ahead and budget for our housing categories household items i'm going to put zero because i'm actually going to put a hundred dollars towards toiletries we have been extremely low on toiletries as you guys can already see i've already spent 56 dollars and 61 cents and there's actually two things that i thought of earlier that we are still missing transportation for gas i want to go visit my family this month so i do want to go to california i'm going to budget the same amount of last time we definitely went over last time we went over $37.55 but I'm just I'm hoping we don't go over this month I don't think we should so $80 for gas will be the same car expenses I'm going to put $60 because I do want to try to get a car wash and $60 might be too much but I, I don't plan on spending $60 for a car wash but as a just-in-case situation, I'm gonna add the $60. Car registration, nothing. Car insurance, nothing. Groceries and eating out. Okay, so for groceries, last month, I did increase our grocery budget to $500. I'm going to increase it $100 more to $600. I believe that I've already adjusted that amount on my setup. If we go back to my setup. Groceries and eating out, yes. I, I, I'm pretty sure I did. I need to double check on my notes. Yep, I did make those adjustments. So uh, the total that I am hoping we only spent for the year of 2024 is now $61,606. That still gives us a lot of wiggle room to throw a good amount of money to investments and savings. That's also uh, not included with the difference as to what is already going into my investments and retirement accounts before taxes hit. So I think that's a pretty good number to work with and honestly, it's going to be amazing if we can spend even less than than this. I, I hope we can do that. That would be great. And I think we can. I honestly think we can definitely spend less than that. Okay, for eating out, we're going to do the same as last month, 125. There really should be no reason why we will go over this month. Absolutely no reason. It will be unacceptable if we do. All right, let's go to personal, pets, health, and fitness. So for personal, we're going to do the same amount as last month, which is 150 for me and 150 for Dylan. 
kitties for our kitty cats. We're gonna give them 116, same as last month. We did go over, I believe, mm, yeah, we went over 12 cents last month, so not bad. They shouldn't be needing anything major, so we, we definitely shouldn't go over budget this month. I, I did do a good amount of spending for them last month because I had to get them probiotics. Beauty, I'm gonna do the same, $75. And healthcare, we are going to do zero for the time being. I might revisit this one. Fun and travel, so for fun, I'm only gonna do 100, just 100. And, and I'm gonna hope for the best. Travel, because we're going to be going to California, I am going to add, I think 100 should be good. It, it might actually be a bit much because we, we don't ever need to rent a hotel or anything like that. Really, we just need to worry about our own gas and it's, it's also not gonna be a long trip at all. Business expenses. Canva is of course always going to be pretty much a fixed expense on here. I like to leave Canva on here like a fixed expense only under business expenses and not my bills because it's something that I use a lot for content creation. So I don't really consider it a bill. I feel like it's more of a necessity and it's just easier for, for me to see it under a business category. And I do this as a just in case situation. If I do start earning money on YouTube, I'm able to just easily pinpoint that amount on the spreadsheet for when I'm ready to do my taxes the following year. Work lunch is zero. This is a category that I'm actually thinking Thinking about removing yeah I, th I think i'm gonna remove this category i don't think i need it coding nothing this month i do want to probably invest in a new coding bootcamp for next month i do like to do she codes um i do like to use she codes programs as well all right uh taxes irs uh i do want to get my taxes done i think last month i added 50 dollars to taxes so let's go ahead and do $50 this month and make it happen. For Etsy, so I do want to invest a little bit into my Etsy this month. I'm gonna do $10 just because I want to add a couple more spreadsheets on my Etsy that I've been working on. I also want to start adding a couple of the envelopes that I've created a while back ago and I just want to sell them and get rid of my um, cash envelopes. I, I was a big cash envelope person a couple of years back and I have a bunch of cash envelopes that were never used and I'm just gonna sell them on Etsy. I, I have attachment issues but they're in great condition so if you guys are interested hopefully by the time that I post this the cash envelopes will already be posted on my Etsy shop and you guys can find the link down below and I promise they'll be affordable they they won't be expensive. General expense mm, I'm gonna put zero zero Oh, and another thing that I forgot, I forgot to look at my subscriptions. So let's look at that really quick. Subscriptions, any subscriptions coming up in March? Mm, I have one, good thing we checked. My sleep cycle subscription. So that's gonna be $20 and I actually use that. I use that a lot because I have sleeping issues. So yearly subscription, that is going to come out March 19th. Fun stuff. So good thing it'll come out on my least bill heavy time frame of the month, which is my second paycheck of the month. That's gonna be March 16th. So that's gonna be $19.99 and not yet paid. I do use the sleep cycle, the premium version or my Apple Watch. It, it just really helps me track my sleep helps me figure out my sleeping pattern as well. And it's, it's, it's a really awesome app. I, I highly recommend it if you're able to um, add another subscription and you struggle with sleeping. It's a really great app. Okay, let's go back. Now we need gifts and donations. Gifts and donations, so for gifts. Birthdays in March. Uh, I feel like there's a birthday every single month. <laughs> Every single month, I have a lot of nieces and nephews. So let's look at my reminders because I can never remember birthdays ever. I am the worst. Okay, so there are no birthdays in March, <laughs> which is great. There will be birthdays in mm, April, May, June, none in July. <laughs> Okay, no birthdays in March. I do have some friend birthdays and I might be going out to eat with them. I am not sure. So I am going to add $50 on here just in case. I still am not sure. 
So I will probably come back and remove the $15 if I do end up not going. Ooh, and I just remembered we might have a pool party to go to. So I am going to add $50 to my fund. I'm still not sure if I'm going to go to that pool party either. I might come back to my budget and remove those two $50. The $50 from fun and the $50 from gifts. This all just depends on when I'm going to California to visit my family and when certain events fall under. Okay, donations. For donations, I'm going to add 100. So hopefully we can make that happen. I think we should be able to. I just have to figure out where I want the donation to go and I have to remember to do it. Other category, which is for my parents, my dog that now belongs to my father. I still consider it my dog because I had her for years. I'm actually going to put 100 towards her. Her name's Coco uh, because I think my parents are going to need a little bit of help with some blood work that they want to get done with for her. For my parents, I'm also going to be adding... I am switching my foam plan because it is going to get even more expensive. They're increasing each line to $4. I'm with Verizon right now. That's just not acceptable for me. One of the reasons why I want to go visit my parents is because I want to make the cell phone carrier switch as seamless and as smooth as possible for them. They do struggle with technology, so I want to be able to help them, but I've already decided who I'm going with and they are just so much cheaper. I'm, I'm going to be saving hundreds a year. I might just pay in full, honestly, completely full. So maybe that additional $600 that I came across and I have not allocated to anywhere will probably go towards that amount. I'm gonna put nothing for my mom and dad right now. I might go back to my general expense. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do it as a general expense and I'm gonna put it under business expense for the meantime and then if I need to switch it around, I will. And I do have the total of what the new carrier is going to cost me on a yearly basis. The total comes out to be for yearly $1,080. I would be saving $732 if I switched to this carrier and that's a no-brainer. That's $732 that's gonna go back into my pocket. However, I'm not gonna add the 1080 on here because it's gonna make me go way over budget. I'm gonna try to figure out if maybe I should pull from some of my sinking funds to pay for that full amount. I, I might have to do that or I might do the three months, six months type of uh, plans that they have instead of the full year. So that, that might kind of be the best route to go. All right, so for Miss Kalina, I am going to add, um, it's at $10. Last month I did a really good job at not putting anything under our miscellaneous subcategory. I will try to do the same this month. Work purchases, nothing, cash, nothing. So I'll actually put zeros this time around since that's what I'm doing right now with everything else. And then I have a buffer. So we won't be using the buffer. Let's go to the categories that I'm going to be tracking this month. I, of course, need to track personal. I'm gonna track my personal. I am also going to track the last month. I believe I tracked Dylan's personal. I feel like I don't need to track his personal. He never goes over. Let's still put him under here. And then I'm gonna do eating out, keep ourselves accountable. Let's also do groceries. Let's do gas and let's do fun. So those are all of the categories that I want to keep track of. So far so good, but then again, it's only March 5th. Let's go over our monthly financial goals. There's a good amount of goals that I would like to copy over because I absolutely failed last month. And that is, of course, don't go over personal budgeted amount. And I'm just copying and pasting from February. That way you guys don't have to hear all my clickety clacking. Don't go over fun budgeted amount. We don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. Don't go over groceries. Let's put that. So now that I increased my groceries to another $100 a month, so $600 every month from here on forward, I do feel like that's that's a pretty good number. I think we should be able to stay within our means and within our budget moving forward. Ooh, and I actually still have money left to budget with, so I have $629 with $0.46. Cents. I'm gonna add $300 to go towards my Roth IRA this month. 
Okay, so that leaves us with $329 with 46 cents. I do really wanna to try to get 300 into my Roth IRA this month. Last month, I was able to get 259, not the full 300, which is perfectly fine, but I'm gonna add $100 because I do have that 600 well over closer to 700 dollars that i have not allocated within a savings account that needs to go somewhere i need to find a home for it if not i will spend it and we don't want to do that i'm going to add 100 to our moving fund because that is a priority and then we're going to do 229.46 in general expense 229.46 so we'll do that 229.46 for general expense let's go back to our goals don't go over personal don't go over fun don't go over groceries <laughs> let's really um invest 300 to ira make a hundred dollars more not considered court income Wealth affirmation. I am going to put money flows to me. Manifest? I think that's what people call it. <laughs> I really don't believe in manifestations, but we shall see. I'm gonna try to believe. And if it happens, you, you guys got yourself a believer. I forgot the S. Money flows to me like a river. I just always, I feel confident. I feel you know what? I feel financially. I like that. Yeah, I feel financially. I feel financially secure. I like that. I feel financially secure. And that's pretty much it. That is a zero based budget. Perfect. Left to spend 2,570 with 89 cents. It's saying that because that is what's going to be coming in next paycheck. But I am really happy where we're at we're so far doing good let's hope that i can keep it up this month we make up for all the spending that happened in february and that's it guys if you stuck around for this long thank you so so much and comment down below let me know what you are doing this month to reach your monthly budget goals monthly savings goals i'd like to know